Hi guys, I'm Ginger Al, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I'll keep you up to date with any future releases. Okay, so, like a nut job, I've agreed to do the Rockman challenge. And it is a uh, uh, special forces challenge for the month of May, uh, June, sorry. So, it says here, take part in the hardest, most revo rewarding virtual running challenge series of your life. Not for the faint-hearted, each challenge has been inspired and adapted directly by the UK Special Forces selection tests. Choose your entry level and pit yourself against five gruelling running challenges to discover what you're truly made of. Sounds pretty gruesome. Right, so... <coughs> week one. Fitness markers. There's a tactical sprint of 1.5 miles. Then there's platoon push-ups, as many push-ups in two minutes as you can do. I've done those this morning and I've just finished the run now. And this says here, these challenges are inspired by the initial physical test required to, uh, to be passed on day on at the Special Forces Selection Aptitude phase. Week two, hill dance. Total weekly elevation target for advanced level, which I've signed up for, naturally. So it says 3,000 foot of elevation, so that's what we've got to cover. Week two's high walk has been inspired by the infamous Special Forces exercise, the Fan Dance, a hill march up and over the highest point in southern Britain, Penavan, twice. For Rockman's Hill Dance, you must, over the course of a week, run the total set elevation target specific to your level of entry. Mine's advanced, 3,000 foot. Week three, the grind. Single distance run target. For the advance, which I'll be doing, is 17 miles. Inspired by the first of the five marches, the Special Forces recruits must complete in the fourth week of aptitude phase, known as testing. Week four, the long drag. Total weekly run distance target for the advanced, 40 miles. The long drag is inspired by the longest and final endurance march of test week. Wow. So there you can see, pretty brutal. Especially when this freaking nutcase is just recovering from a leg injury. Um, to be fair, on that downhill stretch, it felt pretty good. But I was flying to be fair, so I'm probably pumped full of endorphins at the moment. So I've got about a five mile run home now. Take it nice and steady, really cool down easy. I'll keep you updated on how I get on through the rest of it. Welcome along. Okey dokey, pig in a pokey. Good morning everyone. So, today is Monday, I think it's the 8th of June, and we are planning on going up that bad boy, and there's a bad boy over there. That one over there is called the Bitch, more affectionately known through our running club. Um, and today my route is to go up there twice. 
and the challenge is for the Rockman um, Special Forces challenge it is to get a minimum of 3,000 foot of elevation um, through this week. I've actually planned it so I should do it all in this one session. Um, yeah, mad I know. We'll see how we're going to go. I've pulled the poles out today but it is super, super steep. Um, so over the over the course is about 7.68 miles but I'm only um, going to get to the 3,000 foot elevation for the advanced level and then perhaps come back down. Um, however, I have had the injury, so we'll see how we go. Um, but at the moment, I'm feeling good, touch wood. And uh, yeah, so let's see how we go. <sighs> oh, this is crazy steep. Hands and knees, Joe. I haven't even been five minutes yet. Point one of a mile, point one two of a mile. Oh, oh, wow. It's actually the top of the first section. Absolutely brutal. To give you an idea of how steep it was, my watch is telling me that it's equivalent to 30 minute miles. So that is slow. That's how steep it is. Now at the bottom of the bitch, we're going to try and attempt it. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be hard. Let's go. So that's it for today in the climbing. Oh, it should be down. It's all downhill. Back to the car. It's a brutal. My legs are blown. Really, really tough today. Really slow, really steep. <coughs> a lot of the ground is like powder because it's been really dry. But hey, it's worth it. Look at this view. <coughs> Absolutely worth all the hardship, all the pain. Absolutely worth it for that view. <laughs> really blessed in Wales to have such to have such training grounds available. I never had myself done as a sheep farmer. <laughs> Round you go, mate. Round you go, mate. <laughs> I think it's running. Early morning and elevation has gone right to my head. Okay, so I'm out again today, trying to get the rest of the elevation in. The uh, elevation I need is about 1,524, I think it is. Might be, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, so yesterday I cocked up a little bit. Um, I thought I was going to get all 3,000 foot of elevation in in one day. Um, however, I've got a few preset um, preset routes in my watch, and I, like a dummy, set the wrong one. I uh, clicked on one which I call the hilly bitch, which we took in the bitch yesterday, which I showed you, which is really super steep. That one wasn't the 3,000 foot of elevation. I remember now when I was planning it, thinking don't don't want too much elevation because it is steep and it is a killer. The uh, the one that I'm doing or should have done is called the hills are alive and um, so i'm just going to do part of that today just to uh, to get the the rest of the elevation i'm not going to go balls out and do the 3000 foot that would just be stupid uh, anyway i'm starving and i need to get back for grub that's why so this one today it's not as steep but it is gradual and it's, it's a, it is a loop so i may have to do three loops to get the uh, the elevation i want but it should be easier on the legs um, especially coming back down it's a bit more bit more gradual so welcome along this is uh, my second day hopefully the last one for the elevation It's 
So that is it. I have managed in two days to do 3,254 feet of elevation. So the challenge was 3,000 foot and through the weeks I've done it in two days. Absolutely cream cracking now. So I'm going to go and I'm going to rest for the rest of the week or maybe go out on the bike. Uh, we'll see how we go. So that's the Rockman. Week two elevation challenge of the, for the advanced level of 3,000 feet done. Hey everyone, so this is week three of the Rockman Special Forces Challenge. So this week we're going to cover 17 miles in a single out in. So I'm out this morning, this is the first day, so this is, this is Monday 15th of June and I'm attempting to do my 17 miles on the first day so then tactically I'll have the rest of the week to recover and be ready for next week's challenge which is going to be quite tough with about 40 miles I think um, not in one go but throughout the, throughout the week so I'm about 6 miles in and the last 2 miles have been all uphill and it's quite a steep uphill as well so I'm, my legs are absolutely blown I've got absolutely no energy but look at, look at the views up here absolutely stunning I don't know if you can see but over over there in the distance you've got Penavan and Corn D. you might not be able to see it properly it's a bit hazy over there but that's where that is um, Brecon Beacons are still closed at the moment but as soon as it opens you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be up there so the last mile was about 15 minutes so you can give you an idea of how steep it is and the fact that I've got an awful lot of mileage already in my legs this month and I'm extremely tired so I'm going to get this out of the way and then rest the rest of the week and try and recover the injury the uh, jury's still out still a little bit of a niggle but the jury's still out on it so I'm taking it nice and easy not overdoing it walking the hills and then running the downhills and the flat so true ultra running style really so I'm just sucking it up uh, so like I say so I've got 11 miles left to go so let's get on with it I don't know what came over me this morning picking this bloody route. The last three miles I've been uphill. I've most of what I've walked. Oh, actually ball bag. Absolutely no energy whatsoever. Uh, I prepared well this morning, I had breakfast. But I just can't get any rhythm this morning. Just can't get into it. I don't know why I <laughs> don't know why I chose to come up over a mountain where I could have just stuck to the flats uh, conserve my energy bloody in that case but I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have seen this would I? I'm doing it so you don't have to how's that? take one for the team ah oh dear so I've come down the path which I thought would take me a shortcut down to the track at the bottom where I needed to uh, pick up and go down into Bedlinog. Ah, what a dickhead. That shortcut has turned into be a long cut because I've come to the end of this track and there's just dense with ferns, there's no way through. So I've had to turn around and I'm now heading back up this monstrous hill. I'm already spent. And I've still got, whoa, how many have I got? I've got, still got about nine miles to go. I'm losing the will to live. My legs don't want to play. Oh, the track there, hold on. Oh, no, it's not. But I'm not lost. I'm on an adventure. You're only lost if you have to get recovered. So, <laughs> what an idiot.
Well, I've got about three and a half miles left with a 17 miler. And I'm not going to lie to you, this is the hardest one I've done in a long, long time. Why I decided to put hills in life is beyond me. Uh, I just can't seem to get any rhythm. Heart rate is spiking, going all over the place. Just can't control it. Yeah, like I said, not enjoying it today. But the good thing, like I said earlier, about getting in early is the fact that I can rest for the rest of the week and sort of uh, try and rebuild and recharge that battery. I think I've just overdone it the last few weeks, months even. So, uh, yeah, three and a half miles, it's going to be slow, slow and steady, but uh, it's relatively flat now all the way home on this horrible con concrete stuff. I don't like it. Uh, so, yeah, 70 miler, almost complete. Check in in a bit. So that is it guys, the grind, the grind is done. 17 miles, and I can honestly say that's the hardest run I've done in a long, long time. It's not the distance, it's just nothing going together today. There's no consistency, I run out of tailwind. And normally, 17 miles, I'll just do two of these, and that's fine. But I ran out about three miles ago. Uh, like I said, I just couldn't get anything together. But I think it's a case of uh, the last couple of weeks catching up with me. But hey, it's done. Week three complete. <sighs> Hi everyone. So this is the start of week four, the final week of the Rockman Special Forces series. Oh, that bollocks already. Okay, so. The email has just dropped for the Rockman Special Forces Week 4 and it's called The Long Drag. Okay, so it is. The Long Drag is inspired by the longest final endurance march of the Special Forces selection. And this is during test week. Over the course of the week, you must cover in total the set distance target specified to your level of entry. Mine's been advanced, so I've got to cover 40 miles. So, bonus points. Oh, here we go. To spice up the challenge series and the fight to the top of the leaderboard, we have introduced elevation bonus points. Not only will you score points for covering the set distance, but you can also earn yourself extra points for every 100 foot of elevation climbed over the week. That's cheeky. That is cheeky. Funnily enough, I was actually thinking about uh, getting some elevation in this week. All right, so challenge, there we go. It's set down, it's been thrown down. Let's see what we do. So, day two of the challenge. And uh, anyway, the plan today is to get about 3,000 foot of elevation. We've not even gone 200 feet, 200 meters even, uphill. I'm <laughs> absolutely blown up my ass. So, well, we have to say we go. It is a loop, it is four loops. So I may end up only doing two. Um, I brought my brother out today and uh, Diane has tagged along and we've got Anne-Marie as well. So we'll see how we get on. Welcome along. So, the plan was to do four loops of the first, uh, first loop. We've done the first loop, but it was brutal. We've, uh, we've now come on a detour. We're still going to probably do similar elevation. It's probably going to be a longer run. And it's boiling hot. Absolutely brutal. Hiya! Oh, day three, final week. Oh, so, uh, seven o'clock in the morning and the car 
thermometer has just read the outside temperature is 25. Oh my god, it's killing me. Being ginger is not great at this time of year. So, first up of the day was about 700 foot, and the plan was to do it three times. However, I'm, I've, I've taken longer coming up than I thought. So it's all about conservation of energy this week. So I've been run, walk, run, walk, recovery. So the downhill will be the recovery. But I first found it, it's been longer. Already, my legs are blown from yesterday. Yesterday's plan was about 3,000 foot. I managed just under 2,000 foot. Um, and I was really blown yesterday. So the, all these months of challenges have actually started to catch up now. So yeah, that's the plan. I may only have to do, may only do two today because I'm going to run out of time so I have to get back for work yeah so welcome along it's a tough one but look at this absolutely stunning isn't it so this is climb number two it's absolutely brutal my legs are screaming at me my lungs are screaming at me oh. Oh, so I didn't get much sleep last night for, because it was so bloody hot and then when I did drift off I was dreaming about this bloody challenge what the bloody hell are you doing to me Terry? <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end oh god I mean, I'm enjoying it in a sadistic kind of way oh, I've probably got about another 200 foot to get to the top of where I need to be to the top of the trig point of money the egg lois and then back down recovery and then I'll decide when I get to the bottom check what the time is to see if I've got enough time to come back up for one more I suspect I will have run out of time and I'll need to uh, get back if show and get, get to work I will see how we get on oh Crank you O'Reilly. So, this is climb number three. I've decided I'm not going to go to the top. I'll just see how far I can go. So, I've got to turn around. Otherwise, I'm going to be late for work. Oh, it's really taking it out of my legs today. And the first, first mile and a half of the uphill bit is on this horrible concrete stuff, which I don't like. Oh. This is tough, tough, tough. Good morning guys. So today is day four of the final week in Elevation Week and 40 miler. Oh, actually stunning, look at this. It's uh, I set off half past five this morning. It's probably now about 10 to 6 or all that. So it's about 20 minutes to get up to the top. It's absolutely brutal. Really steep. This is the Garth Mountain one. But look at those views. Absolutely stunning. I won't show you down there because if you're scared of heights, you, you're going you're gonna to shit yourself. So the plan today is there is no plan. Just go with the flow and see what happens. Um, I planned all week and I've not met the elevation target that I've been trying to get to. So today is just going to be quite leisurely, go with the flow, see how we go. Same again, same plan, walk the hills, run the downhills and uh, jog where I can. So, let's see how we get on. That's not even the top. Uh. Wow, this is nuts. Ooh, wow, this is steep and overgrown. 
Ouch. Getting ripped to bits now. Oh, oh Jesus. Where are we going now? I don't know. I'm guessing this way, but I don't know. So that's me done. Yeah, so that's me done for day, day four. This one was brutal. I think this is going to be the hardest day. I broke it down into sections. So I've done two loops uh, to get maximum elevation. That was about four and a half miles. And then uh, I ran down to Taswell, across the river, and then came back up, up the tarmac path which is a little bit quicker and then I hung a right and then came up this monster and I've done this monster twice and it's, a, it's only about 0.3 of a mile but that 0.3 of a mile you'll get about 250 to 260 foot of elevation I left the car at half past five this morning it was saying 28 degrees but they're estimating uh, it's going to get to about 31, could possibly get to 33 in some parts of South Wales. So I'm going to get back now, get into the office, the unair conditioned office, and sweat my nads off all day. So the key is plenty of fluids, ready to start again tomorrow. Don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. Like I say, my legs are burnt. Um, I might just take it easy tomorrow. So I think I'm about. 30 miles into the challenge now, I've got time to go. So I've got to really plan on what elevation I'm going to take, bearing in mind that the legs are burnt, the heart is burnt, and uh, the skin will soon be burnt with the ginger complexion. Thanks guys, thanks for coming along, thanks for supporting. It's been an emotional challenge so far. Fingers crossed we make it to the end. And my aim is, I'll say it now, I'll put it out there, I'd like to be in the top 10. There you go. Morning everyone, so it's day 5 of the um, Special Forces Series Challenge of the final week and it's all about getting 40 miles in and as maximum elevation as you can. I'm really struggling today, it's 5.30 in the morning and I can't, I'm just going to try and do as much as I can. The aim is to do about 6 miles today and get as much elevation in as possible um, but I'm really feeling that everything's aching today. The legs are proper blown um, so it's not just the, the ups to take it out on you it's the coming down as well so that my quads are absolutely killing me screaming at me <laughs> I've enjoyed it but I'll be glad when it's over so I can have a bloody good rest uh, that being said although I said I'm gonna have a rest next week I'm already in my head thinking right where can I go where can I go what can I do what where can I run um, I've really got to resist that temptation I've really got to let the body recover otherwise I can suffer for it later on. So, as you can see, I'm down by the, the River Taff. Um, this is Taff's well, just, just through through there. And I'm gonna be going that way, where there's a uh, massive hill to start off with, a big ziggy-zaggy path, uh, and it's proper street, steep to start with, so that'll get the lung bust in before we go. And then the, the plan is to get to the top of the Garth Mountain, come back down, do it again, um, and then we'll do some um, sort of hill efforts uh, 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 semi to the, towards the top yeah that's it welcome along and let's see how we get on on day let's say four day five i think it is day five oh that's stuff's bloody horrible this time Get my breath back. Oh, which is good. Oh. So that's the second climb. Come up the tarmac road. It does get a little bit easier if you get a little bit of breath, but the last bit is quite steep. I'm now going up here, it's about four, four point three of a mile up to the top. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh I'm done in. I like the feeling like they did and everything. Oh. Oh, I got loads of these to do today. This is this is a proper suffer fest. Come up there now. So it's a bit cooler today. It's 
So I've just done four miles and 2,500 foot of elevation. Um, well, because I'm feeling surprisingly good, I decided that I'm going to go on a little adventure. So I don't know how far I'm going to go, but as you can see, it's all misty, murky. But I'm in a place I don't normally run. So chances are I'm going on an adventure. So I could get lost. Sorry, I made go on an adventure. Uh, and let's just see how we go, really, and uh, see how far I can get to get to that target. I think I'm about 28 miles uh, total. So we'll see how we get on. But it is pretty misty, murky. Totally nothing like the 33 degrees we had yesterday. So it's a bit cooler for running today. So perhaps that's why I feel a little bit fresher. So if I can get a decent amount of mileage in today and elevation, I might have a rest tomorrow. I might call it. Let's see how we go. But this is actually savage. Uh, enjoyable, but savage. Oh. I hope the GoPro can give you some sort of a appreciation for how steep this bloody is. Oh, it's almost hands and knees territory. Oh. Oh, good morning, guys. So, last day of the Rockman Special Forces Series Challenge. Oh. And I've got 12.6 miles left oh. to get as much elevation as I can. So if you can see, I've got to the beautiful foothills of Brecon Beacon. And there's a really steep slope by the Lower Noise Reservoir. The plan is to do that four times and then head off somewhere else and look for more elevation. I don't know. You can see down there is two, two lovely ladies from my running club who said they would meet me up here and go give me some, some motivation, keep me going. Uh, they, they give me some sweeties, some squashes. So that's a very, very welcome, very welcome indeed. Keep me going. I'm absolutely ball bagged already. And this is only halfway up my second climb from three miles in into the 12, 12, 12 12.6 miles it's brutal absolutely brutal um, calves are screaming uh, you've got the doms from from Friday's 4,000 foot that I've done a little bit over actually so I'm really feeling it today I don't know how much I can keep going to be honest feeling dead but thank you for watching thank you for the encouragement that's what's really kept me going is everybody saying come on Al, you can do it come on ginger boy go for it this is climb number three oh it's brutal poor legs and always hit the thing is these rocks are quite quite a chunk so I'm using all my effort to get up them they're like oversized steps and it's really really taking all the energy I've got to get up them I do this section one more time and then I'll head across the top of the ridge and start making my way back down well up and down up and down down oh. so this four up and down should give me about 2300 foot of elevation God knows what I'll go for the rest of it. I'm just gonna play it by ear now. It's, I'm ready to, ready to finish now. I've had enough. And I'm looking forward to a rest next week. Oh, wow. Wow, wow.
my last climb. <sighs> Rockman Special Forces Series Challenge. Wow. You were brutal. Fair play. Oh, I felt every step of it. Glad it's finished. So today was the longest day, which was 12.6 miles I had to achieve and just get in as much elevation as I could. Uh, I've no idea what the elevation is until I download it when I get uh, a signal and then I'll, I'll sort of have a look at it then. But I'd like to uh, give a few thank yous, especially for today, for keeping me going, was to Diane and Anne-Marie who, uh, who came up onto the, uh, the hills today to give me some encouragement. They didn't stay with me all the way, uh, but they, they uh, gave encouragement when, pretty much when I was ready to jack it all in, when I was really at the low ebb. Uh, my calves were about to explode, quads were crying. But it's, uh, I dug in to be fair, they, they made me dig, dig in. Diane Fair Play kept saying to me, go on, you've got this, one more climb, one more climb. I think she said that about six times. Uh, fair play. Thanks for coming, Diane. Thank you very much. much I really do appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, that's it done, guys. Very emotional. Um, I'm really going to have a rest. Um, I rarely rest, um, and that is probably one of my biggest downfalls where I don't, don't tend to rest enough. I am going to take a whole two weeks off from running. I'll probably keep up the strength work. Um, at the beginning of the, the series, you may have known that I was nursing uh, an injury, but all this elevation that I've been doing, the uh, injury seems to have gone away, the, the niggle has, has gone, so perhaps that's just what I needed, was a bit of strength work, so when I do get back at it, the hills will be my friend for a bit, although right now I don't want to see another freaking hill. But yeah, it's been emotional, um, I think on Friday I said I'd be happy to be placed in the top 10. I was in, uh, uh, currently eight. Um, I would now think with the effort that I put in today, I'd like to be in the top five. So, who knows? I don't really know what the, what the leaderboard will look like when it's all finalized, but I'd like to be somewhere near the top. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely emotional. Thank you guys. For those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. There'll be a lot more of this where it comes from. Uh, so <laughs> a lot more of this to come in the future. I can't even say, get my words out. I'm all, all muddled, the muddled. Yeah, that's the one. Ah, uh, yeah, brilliant. I'm just waffling shit now, isn't I? Right, I'm off, guys. I'm off for a bath. I'm gonna have a few beers tonight. It'll only be a few beers. I'll probably uh, fall asleep in the second one because I am absolutely ball bagged. Thanks for coming along. See you next time. Alright guys, so that's it. The results are in for the Rockman Special Forces Challenge and I'm really, really pleased to say that I came top on the challenge. Weren't expecting to, to be fair. I thought I'd be within the top five from my efforts yesterday, but it just seems that I went a little bit further and actually managed to get the top spot. There were some really tough oppositions out there yesterday. So there was um, a guy called Dave Kirtland, done really well. Jamie Stevenson done really well, and the one which was it was on my tail the whole way was a guy called Richard Huckstep. Um, he was uh, really nipping at my heels all the way. Um, he was looking at what I was doing, I was looking at he, what he was doing all the way through the challenge. So uh, well done, Richard. It was a real top opposition, to be fair. Um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So I'm, I'm over the moon. Um, there are no prizes. It's just the the actual kudos for for getting on, on top of the uh, top of the challenge so I can turn around and say yeah I went up against the Rockman a special forces challenge and I came off on top of the leaderboard I would have been happy in the top five because the, the opposition were absolutely immense so fair play guys thanks for Rockman 
hopefully see you on the next one if I've recovered. Cheers guys.